Hey guys, this is Showpage, and welcome back to another video. I went on a uh, short break because of school, but the plan is to get back to a consistent upload schedule. I hope everyone had a happy holidays, and I hope you enjoy the video. 2022 was a great year. We saw the lifting of lockdowns, people coming together for great causes, growing humpback whale populations, one of the greatest World Cups of all time, and then we found microplastics in our bloodstream, there was a monkeypox outbreak, record inflation, a war in Ukraine, and... Sorry, I got carried away with myself. But most importantly, at least at the start of 2022, streaming organization One True King, or OTK, was at its peak. OTK is a group of now 10 creators who all stream on Twitch or make content in general. The group started in 2020 by Asmongold, Miskiff, Svand, Rich Campbell, and Tips Out, and was basically a close group of friends who, as a collective, could help boost each other's popularity. As the years went by, OTK gained more members, including famous Minecraft YouTuber Jay Schlatt, and 2022 was no different, as we saw the introduction of Emmeru and Bruce drop him off, and things were set for this to be the org's most eventful year yet. The org had many successful events, including Camp Canute, a month-long streamer training camp led by Norwegian bodybuilder Canute and some members even participated in a League of Legends tournament with Mr. Beast. Led by the consistent streaming and content of some of the world's most popular streamers, like Asmongold, Miskiff, and Jay Schlatt, along with a growing YouTube presence, it seemed like there was only room to grow for the org. However, today OTK is not remembered for these achievements, but rather for the scandals some of its members found themselves in. So today, I will be going over the events that led to the downfall of OTK. They say 70% of gambling addicts quit right before they make it big, and I guess streamer Slicker was cut off right before it was his time to shine. He spent his days betting on tennis matches and college swim meets, and once he ran out of his own money, he continued using loans from friends and fans who he was definitely going to pay back. However, one fateful day he was exposed, and the world found out that Slicker had borrowed hundreds of thousands of dollars that he had yet to pay back even stealing money from a cancer patient who thought she was his friend. This reveal stopped Slicker from betting and started a heated conversation about gambling's place in streaming. As we know, gambling has ruined the lives of thousands of people and those close to them. And in this case, Slicker's actions almost led to the end of his friend Miskiff's career. Miskiff was one of Slicker's good friends that he also stole money from. Miskiff, along with many other content creators, was actively against gambling on Twitch due to the site's young and impressionable user base. And when this incident was brought to light, everyone could see the negative impact gambling could have. This prompted many streamers to speak out even louder against gambling on Twitch, and their message started getting much more traction. This gambling pushback caught the eye of notable gambling streamer Trainrex, and when he saw OTK member Miskiff pushing back at him and gambling in general, Trainrex dropped some dirt he had about Miskiff's past, and it changed everything. He tweeted, suggesting Miskiff and his ex-girlfriend Maya were hiding some facts about Miskiff's longtime friend Crazy Slick, not to be confused with Slicker. It's weird there are two people with Slick in their name involved in the story. I know. It was alleged that Miskiff and his girlfriend Maya were covering up the fact that Slick had sexually assaulted another streamer named Adriana Lee and were using their power as influencers to silence Adriana from telling their story. While everyone was getting on Miskiff for that, some more haymakers came in. And one of his old colleagues and well-known philanthropist, Ice Poseidon, dropped some more dirt on him. Ice Poseidon exposed Miskiff for saying racist and homophobic slurs years ago in their DMs, where Ice Poseidon definitely didn't delete his responses to paint himself in a more favorable light. Although there was deserved backlash for his behavior, Miskiff did not receive as much hate as he was quite open about his embarrassing and insensitive past and showed that he was a changed or at least a changing man. The Adriana Lee and Crazy Slick situation took precedent and caused friction between many streamers. Friends turned on each other and new enemies were made. Once these things were uncovered, Miskiff was indefinitely removed from OTK while a third party investigation took place regarding the situation. To make matters worse, Miskiff had a comeback stream during the investigation and acted in an insensitive and embarrassing way, causing more issues for himself and OTK in general. Months passed and OTK revealed that the investigation was over and they deemed it appropriate to reinstate Miskiff into OTK, 
as the allegations about him covering up sexual assault seem to be false. However, due to his behavior on his comeback stream, his status of board member was revoked for the time being. Following this, Miskiff started uploading more, and this was great news for his fans, as they could now watch him react to more TikTok compilations and clickbait with attractive girls, including his sister. However, just two weeks before the investigation concluded, another bombshell dropped, as one of the founders of OTK and boyfriend of Mia Malkova, Rich Campbell, was exposed for sexual assault by a former partner of his. I do not want to get into too much detail, but Rich has been permanently removed from OTK and will likely be facing legal repercussions for his despicable actions. During this period of extreme turbulence, OTK's most popular member and famous Minecraft YouTuber, Jay Schlatt, officially left the org, although he is sticking around to help with their YouTube team and computer company, Starforge. It is not clear why he left the org, but the timing of the split coincided with the scandals, and Schlatt may have been trying to distance himself from the now seemingly problematic org. This is a huge blow, as Jay Schlatt is probably the group's most famous and recognizable member, and his presence on YouTube helped OTK gain more relevance on a platform most of their members do not prioritize. It is unfortunate that a group with so many good people is now being tainted due to the actions of others. OTK has amassed a large number of content creators and includes some beloved members of the YouTube and streaming community, such as Asmongold, Emmeru, Svand, Bruce Drop Em Off, and many more and they have been accomplishing some great things on the platform. But this seems to have been tarnished, and it is not certain whether the org can come back from it. The only hope is that the new year brings out the best of the group, and they can move forward together. In the case of Miskiff, he has shown in the past that he is willing and able to change, and upon his return, he seemed very apologetic, and has been saying all of the right things. Miskiff has recently gotten back to Twitch and YouTube, and it is unclear if he can return to form and use family-friendly creators like Valkyrie, Pokimane, and Aiden Ross for views again. During OTK scandals, the org was carried by their other members mentioned before, who continued streaming to large audiences and allowed the group not to fade into irrelevancy. And the continued hard work of these good people are helping pave the way forward for the org. OTK is made up of a lot of great people, and they seem determined to move forward and continue to grow with the right values and morals. The org at the start of the year was on top of the world, and if the people within it are truly committed to being better, there's only room to go up from here. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video and are in the giving mood after the holidays, please consider liking and subscribing. And if you want more content like this, check out my other videos on the channel.